Good morning, everybody. It's uh, 24th of November now. Quite, uh, we're losing the year. Um, but first off, I wanted to real quick show you what I've what I've been creating. Um, this whole uh, nice little rack here, actually, that I bought. So down the bottom here, we've got some nice earrings, and then we've got some of those Christmas decorations here that I've been making too. Uh, around the back, we've got lots of pendants, and some of these have got flowers in them, some of them have got mica flakes in them, some of them have got glitter in them. Um, in fact, one of them's actually got a clover. A little clover there. Very sweet. And we have got lots and lots of different key rings over here, various different glitters and different types of key rings. These ones here, these are kind of my favourites. These little guys here. Obviously because they glow in the dark. Who doesn't want glow in the dark key rings? So you never need to lose your keys again. And these little guys, the mould, I'm pretty sure it was the mouldy tombstone, seems about right. The same with the bats. Who doesn't want a glow-in-the-dark bat on your key ring? In fact, this one has a regular bat. I say regular bat, you know, it's a bat with glitter in it. That's obviously what most bats would probably look like with green glitter in them. And a little glow-in-the-darky one. Some of them have uh, been painted and some haven't, like here. You can see um, I've numbered this one got a little dagger with it because you know stabby stabby and what else we got over here oh yes the Cthulhu coin and little teeny weeny and heart uh, d20s and then down the bottom here we have some of the necklaces that I've been making too and I've bought silver chains for them now also so these are now finished up and I can sell these on um, the money that I'm making from these ones specifically because they have particular flowers in and forget-me-nots and I'm selling these to um, provide money to the Alzheimer's Association uh, on behalf of my mom, who would probably want to join in with this stuff you know if she could so yeah that's kind of nice um, I feel like I've got some good stock going I've sold some earrings I've sold some um, other bits and pieces that I've done so that's kind of cool now uh, one other thing I wanted to just talk about is cellophane. Now, we all have cellophane at home in various different ways. We wrap stuff up with it, but it's so static, this stuff. It's so beautiful, though. Look at that. It's just stunning stuff. And it comes in all different colours and things. This is great for scrunching up and cutting up and putting in your dice. But boy, oh boy, does it make me crazy. So, um... This is what I chopped up from this reel here, and I'm pretty sure I got these ones from Amazon. I felt like I did. Um, and then I had basically, I took this out, chopped it out, scrunched it, and I had a pair of scissors in the bottom kind of doing this to try and break it up. Um, so I would love to hear about your foil experiences, um, or if you've got any tips on using it, uh, other than, yeah, buy it when someone else has already cut it up, which seems great. But, you know, it's cheaper to buy it like this, and actually you're in a bit more control of if you want big chunky bits or small chunky bits. You see we've got some small chunky bits in there. So, yeah, let me know about your foil experiences, please. Um, today's video, we are going to demold a set in here. Obviously, I'm going to leave it to the end like normal. And this set here is kind of a commission set for somebody. So I'm kind of excited to see this. But again, we're all going to wait till the end to see that uh, and in here we have another foil set of um dice from this foil well not foil you know what i mean um cellophane set cellophane set doesn't sound all that great though it doesn't sound very nice or attractive really so in the meantime we're gonna quickly check out these bits and bobs i've got up here because the dreaded c word is fast approaching and there's nothing that any of us can do about it sadly we do have these the good thing about these, and I'm going to say the good thing about them, because um, I had to use glow-in-the-dark stuff. Now, the reason that I have to use glow-in-the-dark stuff is because when I was a kid, we had these, like, I don't know what they were. They were, like, spirally kind of mm, icicles, I guess. Icicles. I'm going to go with icicles. They were probably icicles. And we had these, and they glowed in the dark. I mean, my brother were a bit obsessed with turning the light off, making them all... Um, charging them up, you know, so that we could see them in the dark. 
So, uh, yeah, big kid in me says, if you are going to hang stuff in your house, it must go in the dark. I think that's reasonable. But obviously, to that end, they all need glitter. This glitter is just incredible. This is uh, the same glitter that I used when I did the big start. And this is just, look at that. It's like, it's like all of the unicorns just in there. Uh, we have a little bit of overspill, blobbiness, and I can get that off kind of. All right, I'm going to get that off later because that's going to make me crazy. But I think that looks pretty nice. I mean, like I said, if you have to hang stuff up, it should definitely be glow in the dark and really sparkly and I already have two of these that I've done with glow in the dark stuff in them and I can't remember what I put in there I think I put in some kind of hearts and stars or something in one of them probably just rando glitter in the other one I'm not too sure about the shape of this one I'm not sure if I actually like the actual shape of it. I get that it's a snowflake and all the snowflakes are different. I kind of like this one. This one's kind of cool. And I definitely like this one. But I don't know. I don't know. This this kind of shape is a bit weird. It's a bit... What do you think? Do you like it? Is it weird? Is it? Is it a snowflake? Or to you, is that more like a flower? I feel like it's more flower than snowflake. But there we go. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, what else have we got? We have got some little hearts that I made. Um, these particular hearts were right at the end of the pot life, so they probably got a few, but oh no, they haven't got surface bubbles. Yay! Uh, these are essentially at the end of the pot life because I had some resin left over where, you know, I was going to make some chunks and then realised that actually I was going to do this one instead and then change my plans at the last minute, so I had leftovers and I always like to, I don't like to leave it in the tub to just go horrible. So I decided to, yeah, why not, you know, let's chuck some glitter in one of these little things and make some little heart things. I'm sure they'll come in useful for something. We can drill little holes in them. I sprinkled some black glitter that had spilled on the table on top towards the end. And they have got a little bit of purple swelled in there. But for the most part, they're kind of clear. And with the tiny bit of, tiny bit of black glitter, I'm trying to be careful now because I don't want to drop it in my tea. <laughs> tiny bit of black glitter and a tiny bit of uh, purple swelled in there as well. They look pretty cute and they're always useful. The bits and pieces, we're getting there, don't worry. These are the little D20s with the hearts in the middle uh, that I just showed you. So these ones are very minimal coloration. There, They've got a little bit of, oh, no, don't drop that. A little bit of uh, glitter in because why not and then just a little bit of purple swelled in from the edges just to give them a little bit of depth uh, they're always again always useful for little bits and pieces you know for freebies to chuck in stuff and um, everything that I made last week all the dice I made last week have all sold the two chunks that I've made are sold the two dice uh, the set of dice that I made sold gone and really pleased with that obviously uh definitely think it shows i'm getting better at this maybe not the video side of it probably still need some work on that right these little key rings i like using different colors in these i figured that uh red and i, I put the blue in first and then i was like a bit of red in the one because you know one is bad and uh yeah go for the 20 party because it's 20 you know don't know what I'm gonna, um, I like to ink these up as well because they make nice little gifties and stuff and, and the backs are actually quite flat on these. Quite often I end up with like a big dip around the side but it looks like they're, they're not, that one might be a little bit, I won't have to do too much work on those. That's good. Like that. A gronky. Can you guess what this gronky does? Glows in the dark I hear you say. <sighs> obviously so we've made a little black gronky previously we've made an orange glitter and green glitter gronky so it was about time we made da -da -da -da. glow in the dark gronky obviously who doesn't want their decorations to glow in the dark and i've decided that he is just as much a part of the decoration as every other gronky should be 
Now, if that makes me crazy, then fine. Uh, I'm going to ink him up a little bit. I'll probably use orange or something on the lower half of him. And then um, do his hat in a different colour. Just so he stands out a wee bit. Now, this is what we've been waiting for. This is the foil. Not foil. Not foil. Stop saying foil. It's not foil. It is cellophane. Now, I used this particular one, which as you can see is like a million different colours. Well, probably not actually a million. I'm Sam regaling it a little bit there. But I think this is more golden based one. Uh, super, super shiny, as you can tell. And once it's all scrunched up and in there, you kind of can't see that it's much different from the previous one that you used, other than it looks a little bit more gold, hopefully. So, in here, let's move it back so that you can actually see. And the previous set I did, I used a different colour of ink just to give it a little something. Let me just grab these wee scissors here because I don't like ripping this. Uh, there you go. Get that off the top there. Now, these ones I used a little bit of white ink. Now, I've no idea what that is going to look like because I put it in quite close to the end of its pot life and it might not really show up, but you never know. Uh, these were more going for the kind of uh, wintry look again. Would you please get off of there? Thank you. Get off. So we have, it's not very obvious on this one at all. It's, I mean, the colour's great. I was trying to get more, more sparkle in this one because, I don't know, when I was filling it up, it just felt like there wasn't a lot in there, but there is quite a lot. It is only a small dice, after all. Uh, but you can see the kind of goldy, yellowy in there too, so that's pretty nice. Hopefully the others will... Yeah, this one. There we go. A little bit more obvious in the six. Let me just alleviate him from his friends. Okay. So you can see on the top there, on the one face here, the white... And in actual fact, where it's fallen through towards the glitter, you've got a quite nice effect there, like a... I don't know. I guess that's the noise it probably made when it went in. As uh, as <laughs> resin probably does. I have no idea. It's very early in the morning, as normal. Oh, come on, you two. Out you come. Right. Again, not too much uh, white in this one. Oh, but we've got some nice effects going on on this side. Uh, if we catch it in the right... There we go. So you can see there's a little bit here. Does that work better? No. Well, there is. You have to trust me on that one. It's, it's very difficult for the camera to pick this up, I think, because there's just glitter everywhere. And because they're so darn shiny, as you would hope, with, the, with this amount of uh, stuff in them, the, uh, the camera's struggling a little bit to go, oh, which bit do I focus on? Uh, hopefully, uh, if you had these dice, your DM would also be like, wow, I don't know which bit to focus on. You'd be like, <clears throat> it was a 20, actually. And he might be, or she might be so, you know, confused or just so in awe of how amazing your dice were um, that they would just accept that. You never know. Actually, I'm not suggesting that you should lie to your DM at all. Uh, I just, I just. So we have got a little bit of white in here as well. Not as much. And the, yeah, just kind of on the edge here. Actually quite like how that's coming out. I do like these sparkles. I feel like a darker colour might work a bit better. But um, they do look absolutely beautiful. These, I think, are like Snow Queen ones. I can't remember, what did I call the other set? Oh, so uh, the set that's just sold, didn't have this stuff in, had pale blue and a bit of tiny, tiny bits of glitter in, uh, and I called those on the edge of winter. I don't have a name for the other set that I made where I put the blue in, in my last Tales from the Pot video. Uh, so, yeah, I guess these are a, a, a series, perhaps. Again, you can see a little bit of white in here. Just in here. But overall, when you look through the dice, so if we put the one face towards the bottom, da, 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 they're so twinkly. 
These ones are quite, actually considering that I used a white and a kind of yellowy goldy colour of um, glittery cellophane, we'll call it, The uh, they're quite pink actually. They have got like, I guess it's just where the light's hitting certain colours in here. I do like how the white's gone in, but maybe I should have put a little bit in towards the bottom of the dice as I was filling it up, because obviously you have to fill it up from the bottom up. So if I'd put some in a little bit in the bottom area first, we might have got a little bit more of a spread, but they're still they're still super nice. And because they're kind of experimental, I actually didn't really know how they were going to come out anyway. So the white is obviously less coloration than the blue that I used before. I think they're still pretty though. Those are still very pretty. Let's just pick those up there and then we can have a look. It's like it's like crystals, you know, when you go through to a shop and they have a rotating stand and they go and you just go past and they're all like twinkle, 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 and then the sun catches them and you're like, ah, I can't see anything. Uh, I guess that's what these might be a bit like, but they are so pretty. Uh, I think this is a good um, method, I think. I uh, just need to work on the coloration, I guess. So if you guys have got ideas for colours that could go with these, I have um, three slightly different coloured foils. Foils? Stop saying foil! It's cellophane! I don't know why. And it's very confusing. I have this like bluey, bluey one, and then there's this like yellowy-ish one, and then there's this one. Why is that one so yellow? I've no idea. This is the one that I think I used first. So we have three different sort of colours. We have, uh, so the, this one here is two. This one here is four, is the white and yellow. And five, which actually five is the one that I did the first up with. Five is bluey-ish. If you guys have an idea of using two, four, five, one of these, tell me the number, and uh, we can look at a ink or um, a mica colour that you think would go nice with them and then we can try that. So let me know if you have some suggestions down in the comments and that would be great. The thing you've all been waiting for. This set is uh, a set that I've created for somebody who I met, not actually physically met, but have met through Etsy. Uh, I purchase t-shirts from him all the time. Uh, 88 Riddles is the guy and after producing several sets of dice, he said to me, oh, I really should get a set of dice from you one day. And I said, well, you know, if you see something you like, message me and we'll have a conversation. So he actually asked me if I would create a set and gave me some guidelines. Now, the set that he would like, I uh, was a bit sceptical about because he wanted swirled purple in a emerald green base with gold glitter. Now, I wasn't sure about gold glitter in green I uh, felt it would be a bit dulled down a bit lost and the purple I, I don't know I just couldn't really see it however as he's asked me to make him a set of dice and I don't normally take commissions but depending on how this goes this is my second commissioned set I did one for my friend he's quite easy to please he likes dice so much that you know I pretty much can create anything in red and he loves it um, he had the big chonk last time the black and red chunk and I've just made a set a small set of um, red and black again as well the uh, ed not the edge of winter ones which ones were those the ones that look like it, the the d20 the big d20 looked like it had like three dementors in it basically and I can't remember for the life of me what I named those but anyway he's he's bagsy the small set of those as well which is great so you know it's really nice to have an idea to work to which is why I'm saying if you guys have got ideas about the uh, colors that I could perhaps use in here you know I'd love to I'd love to try creating some I can't guarantee the outcome obviously because you never know what the resin does whilst it's in the pot so let's have a look what we have got that really hurt my thumb doing that now you can probably see in here 
there is the green. I, I, I use an alcohol ink to create the green. The purple is actually done with mica and the gold is very fine. Well, I say very fine. It's the finest glitter. It's the very finest glitter um, that I could find. So I don't want to use big chunks because obviously big chunks um, can all gather up a little bit too much at the bottom and I didn't really want that to happen. Uh, as he'd said, it would be cool to have the glitter floating throughout. So, you know, I, I took on board his uh, brief, if you like, and attempted to <laughs> to create, I hope, um, what will be a lovely set. Now, I don't know why, these just remind me of the Joker. Uh, he says they remind him of Mardi Gras. I am, personally, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the Joker in these, uh, but I don't know, what do you think? Let's have a look what is in the mould. So we have what's in the pot, what's in the mould. Whoa, okay, okay. So there's some, there's some very interesting things going on in here. Already, alrighty, alrighty, let's get that off. So first off, that purple looks stunning inside this bluey green. Now. The glitter itself, because of the way I poured the glitter in, uh, you can see it, obviously. The three is completely lost there. I have no idea what we're going to ink these with. I will send him some pics once I've uh, taken these out and tied them up a little bit. See what he thinks. But that is really kind of cute, actually. I was not fully expecting that. So, well, there we go. He's a better judge of uh, coloration, it would seem, than, than I am in this particular circumstance. Uh, I'm really happy about that because I never would have tried this uh, based on the fact that I didn't think purple would work. Now, when he said about this um, purple in the green, he suggested it would be like a contagion catching. And I think seeing this purple dye here, well, the purple side of this dye, the green obviously is a bit kind of, you know, uh, all over the dice, but you can see the purple kind of threading through. I kind of feel like I captured that. I don't know, what do you reckon? It's hard to tell because of the dice faces, but I feel like I captured it. I feel like I did. I feel like I did pretty good. Um, I'm hoping he's gonna watch this too and see his dice being birthed, being brought into the world as is the want of a dice. There's some funky stuff going on in this one. Really nice swirls happening in here with the mica. And the greeniness in this one is slightly less in certain places and, set and more in others. So I hope that these will be, you know, everything he wanted. I hope. <laughs> uh, of course, I have to be able to clean them up and you know, ink them and stuff for them to, for them to look the part. Uh, but they definitely have some cool shit going on. The, the what's this one? This is the uh, percentile here. The glitter in one is is in one part, but it is also through. It's very difficult to see on the camera, but it is actually through the rest of the dice as well. And the four. There, this four, not the crystal one. Contagion, it's catching. And that obviously needs cleaning up. But it is, it is, it is, I would say, yeah. I think so. I think so. I think I did good. Now, they definitely look less Joker <laughs> coming out now. I don't know about Mardi Gras. Um, I'm not sure what colours I would associate with Mardi Gras. But if this is, this is, uh, oh. There's the camera stand again. It's big enough to see. If this is um, what he what he wanted and he's happy with these, then then I'm very very happy. And if I've been able to create something for somebody that's super super cool, I really like the six. This is lovely. There's some really really lovely stuff happening in here. I don't know how well you guys can. See. There we go. Look. Whoa! Check that. It's like a mushroom cloud. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. The effects and stuff, I'm definitely, definitely down with the, the effects in these ones. And I feel like I'm getting better. Definitely feel like I'm getting better. 
uh, the dice mold really does make a 